If you're looking for the best aquarium heater, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on the features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Alan Yeager Aquarium Thermostat Heater. The Alan Yeager is a fully submersible heater that comes in a range of power levels. This particular aquarium heater comes in a 25, 50, 75, 125, 150, 200, 250, and 300 watt option, making it a good choice for pretty much every size of aquarium out there. It is fully submersible, so you can stick it right into your tank, which is quite convenient, plus it comes with a run-dry protection feature so it stops running in case it is no longer submerged. It comes with a nearly six foot long cord, which is also nice in terms of setting it up. The suction cups that come included also help make installation easy. This thing is made out of shatterproof and shock resistant glass, which helps to make it quite durable. Plus it makes it safe for your fish too. This AIM heater can be adjusted from 18 to 34 degrees, 65 to 93 Fahrenheit to suit the needs of your aquarium. It also features a true temp dial for accurate heater calibration. The on slash off indicator light tells you when it is running and when it is off. This item can be used for both salt and freshwater tanks. Moving on to the next and number two with Aquian Pro Adjustable Heater. This particular aquarium heater comes in a few different wattage options including 50, 100, 150, 200, and 250 watts. It should be fine for most aquariums except for the very largest ones. These heaters are built with a very durable and solid outer shell, one that is shatterproof as well as shock resistant, making them safe for fish and quite durable too. This heater can be used for both freshwater and saltwater tanks, which is convenient. In terms of setting it up, it can be positioned vertically or horizontally depending on your needs. However, it does not seem to come with any mounting brackets, which is a bit of an issue. This is a fully submersible heater, so you can pop it right in the tank. To prevent it from overheating and running dry, it will automatically shut off when it is not fully submerged. The Aquian Pro is fully adjustable from 68 to 88 degrees, which is a decent temperature range. Plus it should be accurate to within roughly one degree. The included LED light will let you know when this heater is running and when it is not. The number three position is held by Tetra HD Submersible Aquarium Heater. This is yet another good fully submersible aquarium heater to go with. It's a fairly convenient option as it does come with the included mounting hardware, suction cups which you can just plaster onto the interior of the tank. This thing can be positioned vertically or horizontally for your convenience. Seeing as it is fully submersible, it comes with a run-dry protection system so it does not overheat in case it is not fully submerged. Its small size makes it ideal for tanks where real estate is limited as it can be easily hidden behind plants or something else of the sort. This model comes in a 50 or 100 watt option, so it is only good for smaller tanks between two and 10 gallons, ones that also have canopies or hoods, as the power level here is limited. The Tetra Aquarium Heater is designed to keep the water temperature steady at 78 degrees, so it is a good option if you need your tank to be at 78 degrees all the time. But it cannot be adjusted, which might be a problem for some people. While it does work pretty well, the accuracy it provides in terms of maintaining a constant temperature is somewhat questionable. Its durability is also a little questionable. Next at number four, we have Hydor Inline External Heater. This is the first inline heater on our list today, a pretty decent one at that. It might not look special, but we do like how it is totally external as it does not take up any space within an aquarium. Thus saving prime real estate for fish and plants. This is not a submersible heater, nor can it be submerged. Funny enough, while water does flow through it to be heated up, the exterior is not too tough and susceptible to water damage, so try not to get it wet. If it is not clear, this thing is meant to be attached to the return line from an external filtration unit. The high door inline heater comes in a 200 and 300 watt option. Therefore, it is really only ideal for larger tanks and is too powerful for smaller aquariums. This option is said to be highly adjustable with a wide temperature range, but what this range is, is somewhat unclear as well. It does not seem to be the most accurate option around. 
The Hydra does come with special overheating protection so it never gets too hot and causes any electrical or fire risk outside of the aquarium. The number 5 position is held by Fluval Advanced Electronic Heater. This is another cool fully submersible aquarium heater to consider. One that comes with easy mounting brackets for a quick setup. It can also be mounted horizontally or vertically, which is convenient, like the other submersible options here today. This one also comes with a special kind of overheat protection so it does not run dry and get too hot. Now, what is neat about this option is that it comes with dual temperature sensors and an LCD which tells you the temperature of the aquarium at all times. It's a nice digital aquarium heater to keep in mind. To increase safety for fish, this thing comes with an advanced fish guard to keep your pets away from the heating elements. To be clear, you can get the Fluval heater in 50, 100, 200, and 300 watt power options, making it quite versatile and suitable for several tank sizes. It can be fully adjusted in increments of 0.5 degrees, making it quite precise, with a fairly wide temperature range of 68 to 93 degrees. The slim profile of this thing does help save a bit of space inside any aquarium. The number six position is dominated by JBJ True Temp Titanium Heating System Kit. Yet another nice submersible aquarium heater to go with. This one is ideal for large and even larger tanks. In terms of the wattages, it comes in a 150, 300, 500, 800, and 1000 watt option. In other words, this thing is powerful, very powerful, and it can be used for some really big tanks. However, although it is small and does save space, it should not be used for small tanks. It comes with all of the mounting hardware included and can be mounted vertically or horizontally depending on your needs. While the guard is not the most durable out there, it will offer your fish some protection from the heating element. What is cool here is that the JBJ comes with a remote temperature sensor and control unit, more or less a remote control so you can control it without getting your hands wet. It does have a fairly wide temperature range, plus it works pretty fast too, not to mention that it should be accurate to within about 0.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Although, with that being said, heaters like this are very rarely as accurate as advertised. Keep in mind that this unit needs to be fully submerged, but it does not really feature good overheat protection. Moving on to the next at number seven with Phoenix Hang-On Digital Controller Aquarium Heater. This is the first immersible aquarium heater here today. Now. We do like how it hangs on the back of the tank and comes with all mounting hardware. It is therefore quite easy to set up and it does not take up much room in the tank either. Keep in mind that the motor here is sensitive and that this unit cannot be fully submerged or else it will break down and most likely shock your fish too. Other than that, this is a pretty decent choice to go with. Although the top half is sensitive to water damage, as far as immersible heaters go, this thing has a decent level of durability. This unit comes in 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, and 300 watt power options, making it ideal for smaller and larger tanks alike. It has a pretty wide temperature range and is accurate to about two degrees Fahrenheit, which is not too bad. The digital LCD control system it comes with is fairly easy to use. It even has a memory chip to restore the previous settings used. The Phoenix does work very fast as the heating element is designed to be fast acting. One thing to note here is that it does not come with any kind of guard to protect the fish. The number eight position is held by Quadop Quartz Glass Submersible Heater. This is a nice little heater to go with. A small 50 watt heater that is ideal for tanks up to 13 gallons. It does have limited power, so it will not be able to handle any kind of larger tank at all. However, for smaller tanks, especially ones with hoods or canopies, it should work just fine. This particular unit can be easily adjusted from 68 to 93 degrees Fahrenheit. So it does have quite a wide temperature range, yet it is not always 100% accurate in terms of maintaining a steady water temperature. We do like how this unit can be used for both freshwater and saltwater tanks alike. The Aquadop is a fully submersible heater, so water will not damage it. The quartz case is fairly durable, shatterproof, and should never allow your fish to be shocked. This thing does feature overheat protection in case it is not 100% submerged. This unit is also fairly easy to install as it comes with suction cups. As well, it can be mounted vertically or horizontally for your convenience. Although it does need to be fully submerged, it is fairly small, so it will not take up too much space within your aquarium. Next, at number nine, we have Uniclife Submersible Aquarium Heater. 
This is a small but effective submersible heater for small fish tanks. It comes in a 25 and 50 watt option, which makes it ideal for very small tanks, but nothing over 15 gallons. This particular unit can be adjusted from 61 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a pretty wide temperature range, making this unit ideal for most tropical fish tanks. Although the accuracy which this unit comes with is a bit questionable. It also comes with an easy to use thermometer, a separate one, so you can always keep track of the water temperature. The Unic Life heater is fully submersible, so you really do not have to worry about durability. It features a solid glass housing that is shatterproof and will not let out electrical currents, thus keeping your fish safe. This thing is very easy to mount as it comes with the required suction cups included. Plus it can be mounted both vertically and horizontally depending on what you need. Although it will take up a bit of space in the tank, it is not too large, so it's not the worst ever. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Freesia FS28 Small Aquarium Heater. This is definitely a unique little aquarium heater to go with, one that comes in a 75 watt and 100 watt option. It is ideal for smaller fish tanks, but really nothing over 20 or 25 gallons, as it does have limited power. What is neat is that this thing comes with a memory function so it always remembers the last setting after being turned off. It does have a slim build, so it does not take up too much space within a tank. This heater has a fairly wide temperature range and is easy to adjust. Plus it will shut off when the ideal temperature is attained and will then work to maintain a steady water temperature. Yet, yeah. how accurate this heater is is a little questionable. At the same time, this thing does need to be fully submerged, plus it does not seem to be all that durable either. The guard features large gaps in between, so this thing cannot be used for tanks with small fish as they might get burned by the heating elements. That's all for today. We upload house product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.